Hello, I'm Katrin Olina. I'm a designer from Iceland. A bus and a phone are two very different things. A bus is for public use, whilst the phone is, um, is a personal item. Um, I don't think that a bus needs to be hip as a phone. It's rather, it needs to be functional and practical and it can be made more desirable to use by increasing the service and the environment around it. Our culture has been driven very much by sex, power and money um, for a long time. Um, now we're facing huge changes and um, I would say that sustainability is rather a caring attitude than something to do with sex, primarily. Um, I think that with the changes that we're facing today, we might have to reevaluate completely how we view things. And um, for instance, altruists, an altruist attitude is Altruists, for instance, are people who believe that by giving, you gain something much, much greater in return. And I think that can be applied to sustainability. Seoul is multidimensional. And um, Soulful City is a place where body, mind and spirit are cared for and allowed and encouraged to grow. In such a place, people will feel responsible and caring about their environment. By being more true and honest, creative, communicative and multidimensional. They're a bridge between the past, the present, and the future. And they are also a bridge between the cultures. It's spread through communication. Um, communication can be so many different things. And, um, it needs a medium to flow, right? So, like sound needs air to travel. Maybe it's like throwing a stone in a lake. I like to think about the structure and organization of cities and how they function. And then, as a, like a playground, and then the people in it and how their energy flows and how it interacts. Um, if you think about people and their energy and their personal stories like that, you can say that a city can be sustained by personal stories because a city without people is a dead place. Um, Yeah. <laughs> By changing our attitude and our approach towards things. By, by applying more humor and humility and creativity to it. Um, there is um, there's a game called the life game. It's quite good. Unfortunately, where there is money and power, there is often greed. However, um, with the waste and recklessness we've, we're seeing being exposed uh, now and will probably be seeing more of in the coming months, it is likely that people will want to put a stop to 
to greet and will demand transparency, humility and um, generosity in all levels of their lives. Um, that's when sustainability stops being um, a guilty subject and becomes a way of life. I can fantasize about it and dream about it. I can imagine that cities will be self-sustainable and it is inevitable, right? But I can also imagine that that cities will be, they will have like a more specific role to play in the, um, in the global kind of context. I can imagine that cities will be, they will be specialized around their resources, their culture, and, and that they will all kind of, they will be like islands, but that all of the cities will be connected and have a very important role within the global community. Um, sustainability is essentially a philosophy about giving back where you have taken. So that is a beautiful concept that I will, I think we will see more of being applied in the future.